the whole the whole Suge Knight deal, right? I heard it. a dude pulled a sneak move on you when you was talking to yeah, Suge yeah, Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, absolutely. On some sucker. It was a dolphin shit. Type yeah, shit. dolphin, dolphin moved me. You know what I mean? And knocked me out. Knocked me completely out. I woke up on my wallet. <laughs> you nigga slid me on my wallet, man. Never been knocked out in my life. Woke up, saw people driving away, and uh, hopped in my Range Rover Sport and started chasing niggas. You know what I mean? They split it up and all that shit. High speed chases down the street and whatnot. And my, that's how that happened. You know what I mean? Period. But at the end of the day, um, me and Sugar's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? It didn't have nothing to do with him. He was there for somebody else. And them niggas that came and robbed me was there for me. So okay. it was a it was a back door. Somebody set us up. You know what I mean? It's cause it always seemed like Suge's presence, whenever he he go to something, or at least what the headlines are showing, it's like, oh, he right. he made an appearance and then somebody ended up fighting. Whether it's him, whether it's the crew around him, I mean it's just like that stigma that comes with it. The thing is, we weren't beefing like this is when, you know, rap a lot and Suge and them, and Herb. So this is right around that time. This is what? This is right after that. So we ain't got no beef with Suge Knight. There's no reason why me to have beef mm -hmm. with Suge Knight for Suge to do something to me. The other niggas, you know, um, an individual was mad about some situations. The regime, actually, an individual mad that we didn't let him in the regime. So he backdoored us and set us up, period. Sent Suge Knight up there for one of my regime niggas and sent the other niggas up there for me mm. at my video shoot. Gay niggas are low and they popped up. Period. That's what happened. 